what a great show to end the week. We have so much fun stuff lined with, up. With pizza, of course. Yeah, we're we get to get stuff it. our face. Yeah. Thanks mm -hmm. for being with us here, folks. I'm Heather Abraham. And I'm John Burnett. Happy Friday, everybody. So glad you're joining us. Yeah. And you know, for many folks, like definitely in my house, Friday mm -hmm. is pizza night for dinner. Mm -hmm. And in honor of that and the fact that it's a national pizza month, we are sampling some of the most popular pies in town, according to Yelpers on Yelp Pittsburgh's app. We think you should try them all, of course, in honor of National Pizza Month. <laughs> yep. Yelp Pittsburgh Community Manager Rachel Carlson is here with a sample of some fabulous pizza yes people Look love pizza this. you cannot hate on pizza people <laughs> love pizza there's so much to go around so tempting i am gonna start you off because there's so much yes. good stuff here yeah. so we have ironborn which is in Slum and galley so here. you walk up yeah you walk up to a stall and you order it so this is detroit style pizza first in pittsburgh detroit style so it's a special style of pizza that's thick crust let me say, this is my favorite style of pizza. I love thick crust, and they bake cheese into the crust, which is amazing. Yum. And so, the strip district. Yes. And that is thick, too. I've heard of uh, Chicago <gasps> pan, yes. pan pizza, right? And, so but I've never heard of Detroit. Yeah, Detroit style. They cook it with the sauce, bring it out, put on the cheese, cook it again. Nice. So it's nice, thick cut, delicious. There's popcorn on that one, too. So. Which one? Yeah, on the, yeah, one the front, front one. Oh. And, yeah. <laughs> I'm a, a sucker for ricotta. That looks so good. Good. And fresh made ricotta. Everything that I love about this too is that these places take care in what they're making. So a lot of the stuff is sourced locally yeah. and made fresh in house. Okay, this one looks like your traditional pizza, but it has to be good if Yelpers are saying you so. You are so right. This is a old world style pizza from Dianoia. So Dianoia mm -hmm. specifically is serving pizza during the lunch hour only. But wink, wink, they will be expanding their pizza business coming soon <laughs> because Yelpers just rave about this pizza. So old world style, you can get it with a glass of wine during lunch. So cheat, have some wine during lunch. This is a great special for nice. $49. It's a sparkling red, which I've never heard of before. And you can eat your Italian heart out at Dianoia's in the Strip. And then so both of those places are in the strip. Yes. So both of those places are in the strip. A lot of hopping on. going on yeah, there. Yeah. But this one is all over Pittsburgh. So this is a oven that is connected to a trailer and is like a food truck. So this uh, wood fired pizza oven travels everywhere. They have uh, a couple home based breweries that they go to. Um, called Driftwood called Oven, right? Yeah, Driftwood Oven at Grist House and um, at Roundabout Brewery. But you can find them all over. Their schedule is online. So these are really great pizzas that are sourced locally, like I said again. And what's cool is this is actually sourdough. So this is something oh, that's neat. unique to them. A different. Yeah. yeah, that they they actually really carefully knead this bread and uh, ferment this bread so that it makes this perfect crust. So this it's a great really traditional. Good. And what are these? Pizza. Is what, that what's the meat on top? Um, so we have focaccia, um, we have ricotta, we have mozzarella, garlic, basil. Ma I'm so terrible at the uh, Italian words, even being Italian. You know, chino. Yes, thank you know. for that. Uh, is that <laughs> some know. sort of Italian meat? It looks like. Yeah, it looks good. It's Which, an Italian it can't meat. Be bad. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> so then we and have look at this. Slice. My goodness. So we have this is from Slice. Slice. Yeah. So really? I was going to say we have some um, new kids on the block, but this is such a great venue. The owner yeah. is one of the nicest people ever, and they have a bunch of different locations. That's their beach view one, but they have it at PNC Park. Park. They're actually going to be opening a new shop in East Liberty in awesome. a couple weeks. Yeah. So this is a traditional Sicilian tomato pie. This reminds me so much of my grandma's, as oh. well as the one you're looking at now is a stuffed pizza. So as you can see, it's a thick pizza. There is a lot of goodness in there. There's meat. So in what's there. inside? There's, yeah. there's provolone cheese. There is um, capicola ham. There's sausage. It's He's I'm just kidding. No. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, that it's looks pretty good. insane. I know John's drooling. I mean, I'm um, setting I, these pieces I, aside for myself over here. I'll, yes, I'll get I know you're drooling, John. Slice is also in Carnegie, and we actually get something they have on their menu called the Green Monster quite a bit, which has goat cheese and I think meatballs and ro roasted red peppers. I love so the good. fact that they are really creative with their pizzas here. Yeah. So it's not just the tomato pie. It's a lot of different creative choices. So this one is called Threadbare. You may not have heard of it. No. 
this, no. but you know why, is because it is not even open yet. So it's going to be open on October 20th. You can see I have a picture I took there, and we have footage from the Barrel House. The, so this is in Spring Garden. It's part of the North Neat. Side. Yeah. It's part of the Wiggle Whiskey brand. So they're okay. opening the Cider House. The ciders are delicious. I had the one dry one, which is kind of like champagne. It's Neat. incredible. So. Um, they have a pizza oven, and what I think is really cool is that they are actually doing a gluten-free pizza. So I think a lot of people love pizza, but maybe if they're going well, to be gluten-free, right. they, can't they don't it. have many choices. So this is actually polenta. Has it wait? Has tomatoes. that got an egg on top? Uh, yeah. This is another pepper one, but we got to be fair to our gluten-free peeps, so too. So that's polenta, yeah. you said? A polenta yeah, base? Yeah, that's polenta base with tomato, and I tried it. It's amazing. This one with the egg on top, people love an egg on top of anything. You right. throw an egg on top, mm. people love it. So this is a peppery pizza. It has a bite to it. It's delicious. And then we have a bacon and apple roasted. <gasps> Where's uh, that from? Yeah. And this is from Threadbare as well. So it's really artisanal style pizzas that you can enjoy with your cider. And yeah. Threadbare's not open yet, is that Red correct? Red is yeah. open October 20th, so it's in Spring Couple Garden. Couple there weeks. is parking, yay. I know <laughs> Pittsburghers are concerned about parking, so we have a Definitely. lot of choices. These are neat. Not all of them we've we've heard of before, so it's neat that Yelpers are finding these new and sometimes older. That's, that's what that's I try okay. and do, and that's what's yeah. great about Yelp. Yeah. Rachel, thanks, thanks so much. And Rachel Carlson, Community Manager for Yelp Pittsburgh and regular PTL contributor, always a pleasure.